Hey, it's Katie from the Mars Lab. So if someone told you that there was more similarities and differences between a chocolate Mars bar and the planet Mars, you'd probably say no. But today, I'm going to prove to you that that is correct. So we'll get the obvious ones out of the way first. They have the same name, and one is a planet, and one is a chocolate. Now for the really intense ones. There's a version of Mars Bar that's called Mars Rocks, and this works on so many levels for similarities because Mars has rocks, and it does in fact rock. The red colour of Mars is due to a mineral called iron oxide that's very common on the planet's surface and in its atmosphere. Now your Mars Bar shouldn't contain this ingredient, so if it's looking a little red, maybe just, just put it back on the shelf. Mars was referred to by many different names depending on the ancient culture that you were from. So in China they used to call it the Fire Star, and in Egypt they used to call it the Red One. How original. This is similar to a Mars bar as it used to be called a Maro bar. Mars has a really thin atmosphere, much thinner than Earth's, and because of this thin atmosphere it can't hold in the heat from the sun and so the temperature often changes really quickly. The average temperature for Mars is minus 60 degrees Celsius, which is colder than a frozen Mars bar. And this is similar to a Mars bar, because a Mars bar also has a thin layer around it, which is called the wrapper. Now Mars is the fourth out of eight planets in the solar system in the Milky Way galaxy, and a Mars bar's sister chocolate is a Milky Way. Now there was a slogan for Mars bars that said that they were out of this world, and that's exactly what Mars is. Less than 50% of the missions to Mars are actually successful, and this is different to the 2% rejection rate of chocolates. At its closest, Mars and Earth are about 55 million kilometers away from each other, and with current technology, it takes about eight months to get there. Now, this is completely different to the average of a few minutes that it takes to get to the nearest supermarket to pick up a Mars bar. The planet Mars is extremely rich in iron, and a Mars bar contains 0.0% iron. The planet Mars is about 230 million kilometers from the sun, and Earth is about 150 million. So that means that a Mars bar is actually closer to the sun than the planet Mars. Pieces of Mars have fallen to Earth, and these are called shergatites. They're also known as Martian meteorites, which are rocks that have been formed on Mars and have been ejected off Mars by the impact of a comet or an asteroid, and they've finally landed on Earth. Now this is very similar to dropping a Mars bar on Earth. So here's a bit of an example. Mars bar. Shergatite. Also, the planet Mars may contain traces of nuts, just like the Mars bar, but Curiosity is still looking into that. So that's all the similarities and differences between a Mars bar and the planet Mars, and I bet you didn't know that there was more similarities between a Mars bar and the planet Mars than there were differences. So thanks for watching, I'm Katie from the Mars Lab, and I'll see you soon. Bye!